Hi guys, this is Steve Elliott here with my very first uh, streaming video. I'm going to be doing a painting in Corel Painter and you'll see this photo that I've got on the screen here. That is um, uh, the photo I'm going to be using uh, for this uh, video. I want to say that I'm, I'm doing this because I intend it to be quite a long stream and I thought sometimes i would like to go into more detail talking about what i'm going to be doing what i'm painting you know what layers i'm using and things and the videos would just be massively long so i thought if i stream it um they can be as long as i like so the idea is i shall stream this painting see how it goes and then i'm also going to do the usual uh compressed version which will be down to about 15 minutes for those that don't want to sit and watch something i don't know maybe two hours long or something like that i've got my cup of tea here ready so i'm all sorted i'm ready to go i'm using corel painter you can see on the screen i've got um a photograph uh of a um landscape and i uh, this is what i'm going to be painting I think I will probably um, I think I'll, I'll probably crop this somewhat so if I can just I'll just do a quick crop of this and then show you I don't want all that water in in the front so I'm going to crop some of that that off and maybe a little bit at the side so uh that is what i think i am going to be painting that scene there so um i think at this point it's time for me to start painting i'm still <laughs> still struggling with this clicking on the wrong buttons and things uh i'd, I'd got the uh wrong uh transition there so let me just try this again I am going to crop this at the bottom. Is it going to let me do it? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. You can't see this yet, but I'll show you in a second. There we go. So that's uh, what I am going to be painting. Whew, that took some doing. Um, so let me... Um, now go into the program so i'm going to be using the cintiq as i said there we go that's the uh, photo i'm going to hide that now because i don't want to see that again there we go that's better Right, now I am ready to start painting when I found my stylus. Ah, here it is. I got it. I've got it. So what have I been doing since last time? Well, I have um, changed the brushes quite dramatically. Um, I've sort of gone through all, all the oil brushes and scrapped a lot and uh, introduced some new ones. I've got a new um, custom palette here and that i've just got a few impressionist brushes that i want to use in this painting that um i think are going to be good fun I'm, I'm going to use my mixer um colors where i can so rather than using the uh picker here i don't know how well i'll get on with that and i've got um a couple of these are called looks i think so I've made a few looks of brushes so you can see um, this one it takes quite a while to load up but it's a really huge brush and this is what I'm going to be using to block in the background you can see there it leaves this kind of um, grainy effect on the paper oh my I'm doing it on the canvas so let's just undo that and create a new layer that's better so 
so as you can see I do need glasses when I'm um, working I don't usually you wear them for anything else other than for close-up work so um, I do have to have them on now look how quick that went on and that's already set the mood for my um, photo the only problem is I haven't got um, I haven't got the photo on the screen. I'm going to have to sort that out. I've just got two people saying hello to me. Uh, hi, Siraj. Uh, nice to see you. I didn't think anybody would be on here, so that's fantastic. Hello. And Music Tron, love your art. Teach me. Um, okay, follow this video, and uh, I'm, you might learn a little bit of something. I don't know. Let's hope so. Uh, thanks for coming along. But in the meantime, I've got to work out how to get this photo on my uh, monitor I guess I'll, I don't want to I'm running out of real estate I'm going to be blocking the chat if I'm not careful so um, well, where did I put it pictures I've got a folder full of source photos so I guess it's in there somewhere uh, I'm very close. I'm sure I can see it. Yeah, I got it. Uh, this is where I'm not really quite organised yet. Okay, I've got it. I can now. I can now see that on screen. I can still see the chat. Uh, Siraj is, is uh, speaking again. Um, don't know how much I love your artwork. You're an inspiration. Thanks a lot, man means a lot um so stay with us and let's get on with this painting so i'm going to create a new layer now i've um i've got this background in i'm just thinking maybe actually i'm going to go back to the background and just lighten it i've already forgotten the color mixer and i'm using this instead oh what's happening Am I still streaming? Everything went blank on me. Yeah, I'm still streaming. That's that's okay. Lost my picture again. This isn't quite going how I expected. Uh, there we go. Right. Back on it. It looks like I'm still streaming. So... That's cool. I just want to put a little bit of lighter colour. Maybe some yellow colour in here as well. And th the idea of this is it's, it's supposed to be... Um, the dirty turps in your brush which I think looks absolutely fantastic I love it I just love this effect right I think that's enough so I'm going to go back to this top layer now I shall uh, before I do that I'll lock this layer just to stop me um, messing about with it ah man I've, <laughs> I've deleted the layer right okay I wonder if I, let's go edit undo and it I'll do is it gonna come back yeah there we are I tried to lock it and I deleted it that's the stress of doing a live stream I'm telling you uh, it's a lot of fun though I have to say right I'm gonna use this new um, I've been messing about with the oil brushes and this grainy thick and wet brush uh, seems to be uh, a nice one i'm going to um zoom in a little bit on this and i'm going to hide all of the tools so i can actually see what i'm painting so i'm going to have to pick my colors off here but that's that's cool i'm looking for uh, a blue to get in on the sky 
might make the brush a little bit bigger than that and the colors too dark so I'm gonna go a bit lighter I think all these things I'm going has got um, all these apps I've got running to do this live stream is has slowed this down a little bit now this brush texture I'm going to go to I think it's canvas might not be canvas page set up no that's not it I can't remember References. No, it's not in there. I was going to, just going to change the um, shadow on this brush, but I want to. I just want to paint. I don't really want to be. Seems to be going a bit better now. So I'm just sort of roughing in this sky and I'm looking at the photo. This is how I usually work. gonna just change the color slightly make it a little bit lighter the, the more you press on the, th the thicker the paint goes on with this so you know what I'm just wondering if I should be oh I want to delete that I've got a delete layer too many oh that's a thick they're me thick paint brushes I'm using the wrong brush bad start you know what I'm gonna delete that layer uh, just create a new layer you get to see everything with this streaming game don't you that's it oops that's better I thought it was a bit thick I can go a bit quicker now I was gonna paint on this layer cuz I want Oh, the layers lot. I've locked the layer. Let's unlock it again. I just want to see if I can pick up some of this sort of dirty turps. Let's delete that layer. Pick up underlining color. slows up the brush stroke I have to admit but this is a fairly decent PC as well it's not it's not particularly slow But I've got a lot of things running. I've got uh, an iPad plugged into it, and I'm using that as a monitor to watch the streaming uh, app, making sure that uh, that's still working okay. I just need some stronger color in now. you press lighter you, uh, the color seems to change as well I'll 
apologize if I'm not talking a lot. I do I kind of get lost in what I'm doing. Let's go back to this color picker. I'm just going to try this brush. Oh, that's better. That's um I, I use the I'm getting to grips with the um, keyboard shortcuts this brush I'm using is the speckle grainy hard drip brush and I'm, I'm, I'm this painting I want it to be a kind of an impressionist piece when I've finished And this is really typical of how I work. Um, I just begin now. I like this brush. This is what this is what I've been uh, wanting to get. I just love in this effect. I like to get um, sort of local color in pretty quick. And I want to kind of leave some of this texture in on the underneath. It'd be a shame. To do all of that and then kind of lose it all. The the sky's not matching. I'm gonna have to go over that. I think with a um with the same brush in a second or two. So it appears I'm not going to get all of this photo in that I'm working on. Well, I knew I wasn't going to. Uh, where's my. Sometimes I lose this colour picker underneath the toolbar because I. It is nice to use. That's better. Look at the sky now. That's that's what I was looking for. Hi, Music Tron. Yeah, I've been watching uh, Aaron Rutten, and um, he's a great source for if you want to know anything about Corel Painter, to be honest. And uh, I've got pretty much. Uh, think his uh, videos are the the best to get this how I got started with Corel Paint. I thought I'll just sit and watch Aaron uh, because he knows he knows what he's doing and he's got some great tips. I picked up is it uh, introductory video to Corel Painter two thousand and nineteen. I got how to get this tool there on there and it was worth it just for that. I've lost all my menus again, uh, not all my menu, all my windows. So I just want to get them back. Might just make sure everything's working okay. It looks all right. Uh, where's my photo? And one more window. Just make sure I've got my streaming window up. That's quite important. I need to see what you guys are saying to me. There we are. I'm back to got it back on again. This is a really nice brush, and I'm loving this kind of loose. This is just how I like to paint. I love this kind of looseness of the strokes and everything. I'm kind of getting over the nerves of streaming now, and uh, the, <laughs> the initial panic that freaked me out a bit, uh, and sort of getting into this painting i'm absolutely amazed that uh people have actually come on and are watching it that's that's really great i really appreciate that, that you you're here i 
I'm now starting to pick colors off of the um, canvas. I use the Alt key just uh, to select. It's really cool, really, really easy. So it's still looking pretty abstract, isn't it, really, at this point. I'm not... Um, got these kind of three... These three trees that I'm putting in now is why I'm painting this picture. This is what the initial interest was. This place is called Staunton Harold. It's in Derbyshire, and it's a bit of a stately home, I suppose. And... Uh, We've got some really very impressive looking gardens and uh, this lake and what have you. I used to take um, painting classes, uh, students of mine, I used to take them here a lot. To um, practice painting in the wild as it were. I used to freak them out quite a bit. I don't think this is going to take as long as I expected. It's, uh, I can feel it coming together now. I'm loving this new Cintiq 16, by the way. I would definitely recommend it to anybody if they're thinking of um, upgrading. It's a it's a very affordable option. I'm working on the water. This is all the um, I don't know. It's like moss and alg algae, I suppose. That's on the water on the water. I didn't think I was going to put this much water in, to be honest, but it seems that I am doing. Now, I can see this coming. It's definitely uh, coming together for me. I think I need to put um, this as a little bank there, just just to break that water up slightly. So that is the initial um, initial stage done. Have a look at that like that so you can see I've got the sky in the, obviously it's obviously the sky with uh, these sort of billowing clouds in fact I just want a few more of those just just here cutting into that tree line a little bit what one of the things that I that you have to be careful of you know if you're doing trees or a tree line 
vary the height don't have them all at the same height because that's sort of like the kiss of death really oops it, it will look really unnatural liking that put a bit darken that up a bit it was just sort of jumping out too much I got this tree that's a little bit grayer in there so what I'm doing now um, I'm still just refining some of these shapes a little bit and putting in some other trees and it's all I suppose it's all about painting light and although I, I, I guess I'm going with local color of the trees at the minute Yeah, I think at this point I can um, create a new layer. And what I want to try and do is use this uh, impressionist brush that I've been playing around with. But before I do that, I'm going to have a quick swig of tea. Music Tron says looking good. Thanks, man. Means a lot. Right, so new layer, uh, still just a regular paint layer. I'm trying this impressionist brush. Let's uh, hide all of the tools. That might be a bit big. Oh, the size of this canvas, by the way, is um, 18 inch by 12 inch by 300 DPI. So it's not massive because I thought with having all these other apps open, um, if I try to paint too big, it might um, cause me problems, give me lag. So I've gone for a, 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 it's not small, but it's not absolutely huge. But I'm just going to take this brush size down a little bit. To do this, if you're using Curl Painter, you just hold the Control and Alt key down together. That's on a, a Windows. And you can change the size of your brush really, really quickly. So, um where am I going to start I'm I'm going to go in with these tall trees here I think to start with and I'm going to pick the color up off of uh, the canvas I don't I'm not sure if I've got the right brush here uh, oh that's better All right okay this, now this brush, if I kind of do it up here, you can see it, it puts on lots of uh, tiny little strokes. Saves you a lot of work. Just undo that. So this is what I'm going with for this sort of um, impressionist look. Still a bit on the big side, I think. And it will save me a lot of time. Uh, when I first started painting digitally about a year and a half ago, I guess, I think this would have, I would have freaked out at this and totally thought to myself, this is uh, cheating. This isn't how you should be painting at all, really. The harder you press, the darker the colour as well, and the lighter you press, you get lighter colour. But now, I, I, I don't... I, I used to be a decorator years ago and we used to have lots of tools to create paint effects. I used, we used to do graining and marbling and things and we would have uh, brushes called a badger brush. You can Google it and, and see what they look like and they're really these long, long with bristles, literally that long on a brush that's that wide and you would put 
your colour on and then you get this brush and you would tap it like that along the colour and it would break up the colour very similar to this what I'm doing with this brush so I'm thinking to myself well you know if I was there's if I was doing a traditional painting or I was decorating and I was using those tools we've got lots of tools to do things like that we've got um, graining combs and rollers that would you could roll up a piece of paint or through paint and it would put a brush bark a wood bark on the grain so we had all these tools and nobody ever thought that was cheating you know so I've come to the conclusion that, that this isn't cheating and I, I think I could probably you know you could cobble together some sort of brush that would give you an effect similar to this hi Siraj yeah I know you're a digital artist I've seen your work I think it's great yeah if you want to do a portrait of me go for it in fact it's something on my to-do list as well I want to um, do a self-portrait I want to change my you see the picture of me playing the guitar on my uh, cover photo I, I, I'm not so sure if that is the most appropriate um, photo to have on, on my channel because I'm playing a guitar and I'm not painting so I'm thinking I should be doing a uh, a more well appropriate appropriate is the word appropriate uh, painting of me painting maybe that sounds like it might be a good idea instead of um playing a bass guitar which i do i do like doing i have to say though i, I do like playing the bass that's my other hobby i suppose this is what i really love though uh, painting but i i like uh, i've got some quite a few music friends and it's great to get together with them and have a jam. Look at this brush is it um I do like it. Look at that. Look at the effect we're getting. It's fairly rapid. And I, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to use it over the whole of the painting. I might do, but I, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to. I want to kind of use it just in local areas where. And then leave other areas completely. Um. with with the initial brush that I was using if that makes sense there we go right now I need uh, something a bit lighter these trees here because this is what this is all about bit more color just thinking that might be let's do a bit more yellow a little bit smaller I 
I, th I, know, I know I'm using this brush and it looks like it's sort of going really quick and I'm cheating but what I, I can say about this is and uh, one or two people will, will um, put in comments uh, to a video yesterday saying that they'd like to see more uh, or they like the, the idea that I, I talk about the techniques that are, you can transfer to any medium really it's not just all about digital it, it's sort of it goes it's more general transferable core skills I suppose you could call them and uh, that's what I'm doing now although I'm using this funky brush that allows me to get on these nice little brush strokes really quick I'm still having to look at the shadows and pick them out and paint everyone in so it's not I don't see it as cheating at all. I see it as um, a very, and, and I know Aaron Rutten uh, would say this, that you're not cheating, you're using the, the modern techniques and the modern tools um, that, you know, they're there to be used and that's all about what digital painting is all about. It, it does speed up the process. Notice I pulled a little bit of purple in there that's just to add some interest it I don't want to I wanted it to go darker right now what's happening here is I wanted it to look darker but I don't want to go black so there's only so far you can go with the green uh, to make it darker but if you put purple in it looks darker anyway and you and you're not and you you're still keeping a nice color in there and you're not going black so that's what that's why I popped a little bit of purple in there, got an itchy eye. I could probably use those to put these stalks. Actually, you know what I've done? Those stalks should be kind of here. These trees are, they should extend down past this other uh, bunch of trees there. So I've kind of got that slightly wrong. They need to come down to here and you know I've kind of got them looking a bit like triangles or lollipops or something so I've got to sort that out somehow I don't want that to be I want it to look more organic Sampling the colour off the photo again, off the uh, painting. Hi Patricia, uh, just reading your comment now. Um, I know I'm brave. This is quite scary, I tell you. Oh, it was when I started, and it was all going a little bit uh, Pete Tong the first few minutes, but I'm chilling out now. I'm very relaxed, and I'm enjoying the painting. So thanks for coming on and saying hello. It means a lot. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope it gives everybody an insight into how I paint instead of doing the speed paints all the time. And, um, you know, it... it, it uh, enables me to put up another video without having to do any more work because I'm going to I would be doing this anyway so it seems a really good idea I think I'm liking it and I think I'm going to do a lot more of these if this goes well I just kind of don't want these to there's a, a tree behind that one as well put that in you can do this so quick I love it the only thing is i'm finding i'm i'm almost like with this brush i'm working on a, a little bit of the painting at a time and um as opposed to uh, jumping all over the the painting maybe i should 
try and uh, look at the bigger picture instead of just sort of concentrating just sort of localized on this little area here and I'm sort of concentrating on that and really I want to be looking at, at the bigger picture got this lovely little bush in here Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that sort of few uh, leaves with the with the white in between. I can add a few. I could add some light in here as well. It's great for this. It's great for putting in little um, pockets of light of the sky coming through the um, trees. I like that a lot. almost scooped out the trees with this let's just vary the green a bit oh ooh, too bright man Let's knock that down. There we go. I'm a bit worried about this. Uh, let's get this tree in here. It's a bit worried about that colour. It's just too too vibrant, too almost as if the tree had a dose of radiation or something I love this sort of looseness you know you don't have to hit the all of the painting with this you can just sort of put little brush strokes in like that look that's what I'm finding it's the first time I've used this brush so you know I am um, discovering as I'm going put a bit of shadow underneath that tree You can blend with it as well that's interesting if you just brush it very gently it blends very versatile this is you know what I've picked an odd subject really for this for this first video because it's not easy to um, sort of paint trees and branches and, and clumps of leaves and, and make them look realistic it can be quite tricky so I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> have a bit the wrong subject should have picked something a bit easier Well, thanks for dropping in, uh, Music Tron. It's been nice to have you here. I hope you have a great day at work. And uh, thanks for the support. See you next time. It's working. I think this is working, you know. It's almost like um, going back to the decorating thing again, something called scumbling, where we used to scumble colours with uh, paint a wall with a, a transparent 
glaze translucent glaze and then we'd get a bit of rag and screw it up and roll it over the paintwork and it'd be called scumbling now i want some darks under here I love painting darks and lights. I think I'm going to keep a lot of this painting really, really loose. It's almost like I, you know, when I do the sketching and I, I do the scribbly thing where I mean, I just sort of let the pencil go where wherever it likes, and and um, you get these really nice, cool squiggles. It feels like it's a bit like that, really. Um, that I'm just sort of drawing this shape, and and the brush makes its own mind up where it's going to go. see these these bushes now taking shape and coming um, coming out of this green mass I need to do something here this isn't quite right looking at the photo there's a little kind of bush thing going off there In. So I've kind of got this tree in front of this one. Yeah, that's that's working. I'm liking that. This green on top of these fir light trees that's just not happening at all they're not that's got to go it's way too bright just knock them back a bit and in actual fact this, this is in shadow here better You just fiddle with this forever, really. I suppose I could um, zoom in a little bit, really. Yeah, 
yeah that's looking looking nice i think i need to um just tie these trees down now It's all about the shadows. You get the shadows in and then things start to look right. Look at that. I'm liking it. I think um, if I, I I need to change my brush I need to go back to this one I'm liking the S sergeant speckle grainy yard tip if I uh, I, I want to sm make it smaller and I just want to flip oops wrong color to be that's it I just want to put these these trunks in it's amazing you, you, you know you start putting in a familiar shape and people straight away instantly begin to recognize what you're painting whereas before it looked just like a blob of um color on the canvas now because i'm getting the trunks in they're looking like trees it's just something a little bit more familiar see what i mean Uh, and now I, I just want to warm it up a little bit with a little bit of uh, brown I suppose I need to go back to my uh, impressionist oh that I chose the blender then but I actually want the impressionist brush that's it that's got it and just start to put a little few bits in here I'm still only on the uh, second layer. Uh, yeah, I believe it's the second layer. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I've not had nothing on the canvas. I've got that initial dirty oil wash and then the um, oil brush that I was using to put the local color on. Now I'm doing all the impression work on layer two. Hi flat caps, nice to see you on here. How you doing? Um, don't worry, I'm not. You know, I understand people got to go to work. They've got other things to do, and it's a, a Monday morning here in the UK. And I, I, you know what? I didn't think I'd see anybody at all. Not not a single person. So it amazes me that uh, people are on here, and it's just nice to say hello. So yeah, have a great day. This is just um, adding a little bit of warmth to that tree there. And then I want some shadow underneath it. I'm thinking a little bit of dark color. It kind of comes this way. Rub into that there like that.
Now, you know, everybody knows that, I would imagine you all know that I love painting on the iPad. And one or two people have said to me, why, why are you suddenly looking at the PC? And I have to say, I don't like saying it, but I have to say it. You can't do this. You can't do this in Procreate or any of the other apps that I've seen. Um, unless I'm missing something. You, you can um, this is a monster out there it's going to take take a while um, to get there with it I suppose I mean ideally I would like to be a Corel painter what do they call it Corel painter master or something elite that'd be pretty cool but I think I'm going to be a while uh, on this learning curve to get there you know what I like that kind of really impressionistic look there and I don't know as if I'm going to do a lot more to that I just really like it yeah look at that I watch it. Thanks a lot. Uh, ooh, let's uh, start looking at this foreground. This is nice. For <laughs> Makes it easy. I have to say. Get some warmer colours in there. Just where the uh, dead reeds are, and little, little bits of exposed soil, I suppose. Just picking up that purple colour. I like to, um, if I'm using a colour in one area of a painting, I like to pick it up and make sure I use it in other areas for, you know, similar spot to, to uh, keep a balance really with the colour. You know, I'm feeling, I can see this clump of trees here doesn't look as good as this bit because I did this second and I'm feeling my way with the brush and now I like what I'm liking about them. So I'm going to have to go over these, I think, and um, make them look more like this. It looks like two different techniques, two different paintings. Um, if I draw a line down here, that paint, that side of the picture looks as though it's been painted by a different person than this side so I need to resolve that uh, problem and it's just because the right side I was much more delicate and not pressing on nowhere near as much thanks watch it uh, I, I think I'm, well, I don't think I know I'm going to be doing lots more of these uh, live streams because I'm loving this. Um, I'm painting anyway. And, you know, painting, it's a very it can be a very lonely experience. And it's nice to have people around to uh, say hello to and, and talk to. And uh, it's making my day a lot less. It sounds a bit geeky. A lot less um, 
lonely than it normally is so not that you know i'm a lonely person and i haven't got a social life or anything not that but uh, i do spend a lot of time um on my own painting and it's nice uh to you know think there's somebody else around it's great so thanks for dropping in so i'm soft softening that up that looks so much better See, it's all about learning to use the brushes. You think it's a it, it's a cheat to use these brushes because they do so much for you in the way that they push the strokes on. But you actually have to learn to use them just the same. Um, you press on hard, you get those strong colour like that. And then you can just be very gentle. And get this softness which I'm really 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 liking look at that love it What I like about this brush, it's like a, a multi-purpose brush where you can paint with it and you can blend with it. Look at that, it's just, it's awesome, man. You know what, all these trees, they're all the same height. That's, that's not good. Something to watch out for. Let's just take that one down a bit. That's better. I knew there was something not quite right. It was all looking a bit um, linear and just it wasn't happening for me. You know what I haven't done? I haven't saved this once yet. I'll save it now. There we go. Where, where are we at? I suppose I need to do something with this area. Put a little bush in there or something. And this, well, I, I suppose I can start working on the all of this really. This brush is much more subtle than you first probably first imagine. I was thinking, you know, it's a very crude and it puts these um, crisscross brush strokes on there. But uh, in actual fact, it really is very clever. And if you just touch it really lightly, I'm hardly letting the stylus touch the screen. It just blends away beautiful. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do lots of portraits, as you know, and I've not done many still lifes. I must admit, I've I've done way more uh, portraits, and I don't know if. Yeah, I suppose I could. There's no reason why I can't be doing a portrait as a um, live stream. That might be 
might work really well. So yeah, I'm up for that. I'm gonna have a go uh, to. I think I'm gonna. I'll probably be streaming. I'm thinking maybe twice a week. I'm. I'm not gonna do the sketches things. I don't think that it would. It would be as valuable as doing something like this, a full blown painting. So yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna be uh, doing a few portraits like this as well. That would be really cool. I keep sort of I'm dodging all over the painting now because I, I see little things and I think oh yeah that needs something in there I want that brush smaller I don't know if it was when I first started out it, it, it felt a bit laggy because I don't know if it was because everything was settling down because I was just started streaming or what but it doesn't seem uh, like it all now it it feels much more um how it should how it should you know Just putting some highlights in. There's dark shadows. That's uh, that's helping. Anyway, I was working over here, wasn't I? And I got kind of distracted. Hang on, there's somebody at the door. I will be uh, back in a minute or two. Really sorry about this. I'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> I'm back sorry about that that was um, a delivery for part of a green screen that I'm gonna have behind me which is hopefully um, gonna make these videos even better still I'm out of breath now because I was <laughs> dashing down the stairs my studios upstairs and uh, people don't wait very long do they when the um, when they're delivering they knock not once on the door and uh, if you don't answer it straight away they've gone so I sort of bolted down the stairs little bush in there look and then I've got this bush thing going off here can really whack these in quick I have to say it is nice this is looking all right I'm quite chuffed with this
just sort of I want to bring them together so it sort of merges so I'm going to leave this light green I think I'm going to leave that pretty much like that although the odd stroke there does add a little bit of light I suppose Yeah. Oops. I've got this uh, problem where every now and again uh, I get this random stroke appearing that just sort of flicks across the, the uh, canvas and um, I just wondered if it was my PC or, or my setup that was just doing that and it was just unique to me but I was watching um, a video a live stream actually with uh, Aaron Blaze and I noticed it happened to him as well so it, it's clearly got to be some sort of uh, issue a driver issue or something with um, Wacom or or something This is great for flicking in these little reed things. I suppose I can just make it a little bit smaller. I think it might, uh, yeah, that's better. Pick up that brown color there. Flip that along at the bottom a bit. Hmm. I'm going to come back up here now and fiddle with this a bit. that working not too sure I think so. I think that's. I don't know. Do I like that? Just wonder if I've overdone that. I'm going to take that out. I don't like it. Just go back to where it was. I thought it needed a bit more. I think it's better left loose like that. I think that says more. Yeah, I'm leaving it like that. So we're getting there, we're really getting there. Just make that a bit lighter still. Oh, 
I'm just sort of looking at the uh, waterline and concentrating on those, on those, um, I suppose it's algae, I guess. It kind of, it's broken up like that. So you keep softening it off and you're right, watch it, the drivers can be a problem. I had a, an Intuos Pro before this and I did uninstall the drivers before I um, set this one up because I know that there can be an issue there can be issues with them This is, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of feeling my way. I'm just sort of stumbling along and, and seeing what happens. Keep changing that colour, picking it up off, off the canvas. Pressing on quite hard there. To, I want this sort of to go into that and then take the dark colour and then put that there like that. So I've got light against dark and dark against light. That, that was me uh, theory behind that. And here I just want to kind of lose it so yeah, we're getting there it's a very green painting for saying I am not a massive fan of green When I was working in watercolours a lot, uh, and this before I, I ever got into digital, I didn't have um, a green in, in my palette at all. And I used to avoid using green like the plague. I just couldn't get on with it for some reason. And I would either, if I was painting grass or something like that, I would be putting blues down and then putting a wash of yellow over the top of it to kind of mix a, a green on the palette but it does seem to be a lot easier for me to come to terms with green uh, digitally I love the way this brush forces you to paint in a loose style you can't really um, get detailed with it which is great I love that um, I kind of got this this needs to come down quite a bit more there 
got that a bit wrong. Just knock that in quick. Make the brush a bit bigger actually. Just to you notice when you make the brushes bigger, it becomes blurred. So there is a limit to how big you can make those brushes really. Before um, they start losing their optimum effect, I guess. better um, there we go get in there These have got sort of, I can put the, the, just sort of not moving the brush at all, just pressing on hard in, the, in one tiny little spot. It adds these sort of speckles, which are quite, it's quite a nice effect, I think, for foreground there yeah I like in that that's working That's a nice effect. Just puts this speckled and bring that quite a way up here. Oops, oop. Bit of a mistake there. I'm noticing I've got a line there a lot, and I just noticed that. So it's all right at the bottom, but at the top it's all wrong. So I need to sort that out a little bit, and I'm just going to. Bit of softening off. looking a bit better and maybe even take it down there a little bit just to vary it a bit more almost to nothing a little bit of a break in it yeah that's that's better little things like that that you have to watch out for and I've got this vibrant green thing going off there. I don't know. That's going to have to go, I think. Right, I need a bit of a brownie colour. Put that in the foreground there a little bit.
I like putting the lighter colour on top of the darker colour. Um, I think it works better that way around. Right, let's pick a blue, make that a bit darker. I think I need another layer. I'm going to create another layer just to uh, get this sort of glazing effect on the water. I've worked out, I, th I pr think I've worked out how to up my uh, iPad up to this system as well. So I could stream um, on the iPad, which would be quite cool. Doing a, a Procreate demo, perhaps. This is getting very close to being finished, I think. liking it I think it needs something let me just get it in there there's just one bit I'm not too happy with at the minute and that is um, this area here so I'm just gonna fiddle with that a bit I'm gonna move that over somewhat She's too big now. A bit smaller. Yeah, that's cool. I'll just soften that up a little bit. a really small brush and let's have a few branches in there perhaps you know what that's I'm gonna do this but I'm using the wrong brush. Let's just change brushes to this um, speckle grainy yard tip one. Change the colour. That's better. And then 
back to the impressionist just work into that a bit and soften it off that's better now am I liking that Yep, yep. Let's use that uh, brush, small brush again. Make it really, really small. This is the final touches that I'm putting in now, really. Just adding little bits of detail, taking them out again. Oops, I wanted to. There we go. Uh, yeah, um, maybe just a sample that color there and just make it a bit lighter just to go across the top there and also I'm going back to that brush I'll make it a bit bigger too much too big not big enough back to the impressionist brush and I'm just gonna put a bit of warm oops a little bit big I'm really sort of picking now. That is it. I reckon that's it. I think I need to sign this. To create a new layer. I'll choose this um, speckle brush. Make it quite small. Pick a colour. And Steve Elliott. So, there we go. That is it. That is. Oh, no, it's not it. Hang on. I just want to see one last thing. Uh, back to me, impressionist brush. Just want to soften that off there. That's it. That is it. 
Right, that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this very first uh, live stream. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, uh, please give me a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Pass the word around, share the video, let everybody know that I'm doing uh, lives now. And uh, hopefully I will see you all in the next one. So thanks again. Bye. Thank you.